to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking about critical issues in the uh, state of Tennessee, uh, in tw critical issues at the 21st century. And uh, Pastor Walker has already given us some information in reference to his background, education, and some of his experiences. And now let's see if we can uh, think in terms of some of the critical issues, some of the things that are very, very important in uh, the uh, state of Tennessee as well as throughout the nation at the 21st century. Let's give you an opportunity to open us up with uh, some of those issues. Well, I mean, I, I think one of, one of the big issues that, that we're facing here in America and of course in Tennessee as well, and <laughs> being a part of America, mm -hmm. is uh, what I would call felonism. Uh -huh. Felonism, uh, and I don't know if anybody <laughs> heard that uh -huh. term or not, but it's, it's basically the, the systematic dis disenfranchisement yeah. of American citizens through mm -hmm. the impartation or, mm -hmm. of, uh, of felony convictions. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that happens because I, I, I'm, it's, it's, it's a system that's designed to incarcerate individuals mm -hmm. and not, not just necessarily incarcerate, mm -hmm. but to if you can get a felony conviction. Let me, I, I guess I need to make myself clear. Mm -hmm. Let me explain what I'm talking about. You take an individual that, that commits a crime. Mm -hmm. Now, the crime, it carries a, a, a sentence, but they're taking the court system, and the main focus is to get that felony conviction on you because with the felony conviction, mm -hmm. it disenfranchises the individual. Mm -hmm. It blocks you a lot of time from housing. It blocks you from uh, employment. And then when you look at the prison system today and you look at the privatization of mm -hmm. prisons in, in our society mm -hmm. today, that's a big issue. That's a problem that should be raising a red flag when prisons are are being uh, exchanged, you know, uh, in the stock market, mm -hmm. you know, then that's that ought to be an issue. That ought to be a red flag. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, everybody knows, I, I, I would assume or, or would think that a lot of people would know that that America incarcerates more of its citizens than any yeah. other country. Mm -hmm. And that's an issue. That's a major problem because here we are in, in America that we're building ourselves the land of the free and the home of the brave. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we're incarcerating many and many of our citizens. Well, if I got a, if I, if, if a person is a felon, mm -hmm. then okay, my, my rights to bear firearms has been taken away from so me. So being a felon means that there are certain rights, basic rights that you lose oh, by the very, very fact that you've been, uh, is it a conviction or? If, if it, it's a conviction. You have to be, okay, once yeah. you're convicted, it's just that. Once you're convicted of a felon, and see what a lot of people don't, don't understand is, you take say a, a 18, 19 year old individual, they go out and they, they commit uh, a petty crime. They go and steal something out of a store or something like that. Well, they say, well, okay, listen, here's what this crime, this is what this charge carries. This set carries so many years uh, incarcerating the state prison system. But here's what we'll do for you. We'll offer you uh, a probation, mm -hmm. a suspended sentence, or what have you, if you cop out to this particular uh, charge. Mm -hmm. So when you cop out to the charge, Dr. Haney, now you got a felony conviction. So instead of having uh, do six months on probation mm -hmm. and never, and, and so-called never have to worry about it again. Mm -hmm. In reality, what you have is a life sentence. What you've done, you've really given away your life and your civil rights in a Absolutely. real, in a real sense. Uh, yeah. is, is that, and that's why you call it felonism. Absolutely, yeah. you, you signed it away. You mm -hmm. signed it away. So now, from the for the rest of your life, you, you can be you can be legally discriminated against when it comes to housing, mm -hmm. because in certain places, say, well, if you got a felony conviction, then you can't get a, you can't get a house here. Mm -hmm. oh, young lady called me uh, a few days ago and she was having this situation she well I've got a job but every time I try to get housing in this particular area or whatever I can't get it because of the felony conviction on my record because people are looking at that I mean okay I got the felony I, I've commit I committed the crime I got the felony I've maybe done the time of done the probation or what have you then this thing still follows me for the rest of my life I still got this thing to deal with because it's there it's a felony mm -hmm. so it's, it's I've been disenfranchised so I I, I can't get the place to live. In a lot of cases, I can't get uh, certain jobs. You know, I can't. I, I can't get public assistance in, in different in a lot of instances. So it's it's disenfranchisement. I can't vote. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't get out there and vote. And then, like I said at first, I can't bear arms. So that you're also telling me that as a citizen of the United States of America, mm -hmm. that I have no legal right mm -hmm. to protect myself. Mm -hmm. I can have a family. I can have a wife, kids, what have you. And then, but since I I've uh, yeah, been convicted of yeah. a felony. You yeah. can't even carry a pistol. If, if you're Absolutely. caught with a pistol, right. the possibilities of you going back into jail well, are much it's, it's five years, Dr. Haney, federal penitentiary time. If, if you're, as a felon, yeah. you're, you, and, and they can legally 
charge you with that and send you back to send you to jail for five additional Ab years. Absolutely. And then, and then we wonder why the uh, jails and prisons yeah. are so crowded today and, and, yeah. and, and how people uh, get caught up in all kinds of situations that, right. uh, yeah. And, and then you look at it, thing, now, you, now you're seeing there's a big issue concerning, you know, gun control and, and the size of the magazine clips and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know, I, yeah, that should be some, some limitation probably, you know, mm -hmm. on, on some of these types of weapons that are on the streets, you know, because, you, know, you know, if somebody got an assault weapon, man, they shoot 50 times, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, what is the purpose of that? That's, you know, that is designed just to kill people. Mm -hmm. That's what they make them for. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, while you're looking at that issue about people's right to bear arms, mm -hmm. then what about the individuals, say myself, for example, mm -hmm. who, who's been away from crime for 30 years, 30 plus years or so, mm -hmm. and, and, and has no intention of committing another crime, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they have a family mm -hmm. that's pastoring the church, mm -hmm. they got a couple of, you know, online businesses and things mm -hmm. like that, but at the same time, I can't protect my family. Mm -hmm. I have no legal right. To if somebody come into my house, invade my house, I have no legal right. To have a weapon in there in order to protect yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah. I mean, what is that saying, mm -hmm. you know, to me as a citizen of America? What is it saying to mm -hmm. me, Dr. Hayes, you're not a citizen? Well, now, is there any uh, a legal way that a person might be able to move beyond being a felon? Uh, once you are classified as a felon in the system, in the penal system, you are a felon forever, is that? That's where it goes, that's mm -hmm. where it goes. They, they have a law came out in July of 2012, I think. Uh, some offenses that you may be able to get expunged, but it's so, it's so weaved in there, you know. It's nebulous, yeah. I mean, you really yeah, yeah. get uh -huh. Yeah, because I may, I, I may have a charge or so in there, mm -hmm. you know, that, uh, that I may, that maybe mm -hmm. could possibly get uh, you know, cleaned up in my record, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I got these other charges that said I don't qualify, so I can't get none of it done. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm caught in that particular trap. And, and, and so we, when, we, when we talk about that, and I think that's important here, because when we talk about that, we talk about this whole issue of incarceration. Oh, yeah. And I think when we uh, talk about incarceration, as we'll probably talk about during the second segment, we're talking about a large number of minorities, African-American, females, and et cetera, yeah. caught up in this situation. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. so those individuals who come out of jail, yeah. in a real sense, that have gone there with a felon, yeah. then, uh, then, then uh, they are, for all practical purposes, no longer, in a real sense, a, a part of uh, the civil part of American Absolutely. society. Absolutely, but at the same time, you're required to pay taxes. Okay. Well, and, and of course, <laughs> what we'll do, we'll stop at that point, and we'll allow you to elaborate up on that when we come back during the second segment. All right. And that's essentially what we wanted to do. And this is indeed a critical issue. It when is. We talk about crime, violence, guns, and et cetera. This is indeed, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break to the second segment of the show for today.